Okay, I'm just going to show you how to put on this journal onto the uh, on the bearing shells, new bearing shells. A little bit of oil on this. Okay, there's a notch here. You can see a notch uh, just there, and so the shell has a notch as well, which is there, and so one just goes one notch goes into the other notch. Pretty straightforward enough. Okay, that's basically it. Just fits in nice and neat, and you'll know you're right because the holes will line up here with the with the little groove for the oil. That's the oil that uh, that greases that keeps this thing oiled up and smooth. And there's another nice bit of oil there to go on that one. And it's exactly the same on the other half. You can see where the oil comes in from the engine there. Or, and a little bit of oil. Line up the two notches. Just, it just fits down into place. Okay. Again, that's pretty good. Okay, it so looks good. I'm not sure why that one doesn't have a track on that for the aisle to go down. So, I'm not too sure why that is. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Okay, so these are in now. Uh, one of them has a groove, one of them doesn't. Uh, that's basically it. Um, okay, so they both fit in together. You see how there's a notch on this here? And the notch has to be facing to the rear of the engine. So this is how they go on. So they go on like this. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. And then two bolts. And then these have to be just tightened and torqued up to 30 Newton uh, meters. So basically, that's all this to that. Then that's assembly, then is ready to be put into the block. Um, so uh, that's it. I'll just leave it at that for now and then I'll show you putting it into the block. You know how to talk these up.